Hello, welcome to uh, uh, advertising uh, lesson 11 uh, or chapter 11. Today uh, you're in a, t taking me for an online class or face-to-face -face class and this is a supplement to the reading material to the concept maps that you have available to you. Uh, let's see and to our forums or to our lectures that we've talked in, in the, inside a class or on, in a virtual classroom online. So uh, we're going to be talking today about creativity a creative execution of art and copy. When I'm looking at art and copy, other than the written word or the slogan that we've talked about earlier, we're going to put the visual. Those of you who have taken me for um, uh, a marketing, a marketing, or business, business, uh, uh, business uh, uh, course, uh, I stress uh, that you should understand the customer. But you're also not, you know, so you're speaking your own words. You're uh, communicating, trying to connect with that uh, client. But indirectly, your PowerPoint should either have your logo in there. It should have something that the individual, that when he or she hears the spoken word, could take the visual impression that you're trying to convey to your audience and connect the two together hopefully you'll bring in an emotion and now i've got three parts that really connect it's almost like a string you could break one string and i, uh, I forget it but if i tie three strings it makes it a little bit uh, uh, harder to snap so the same thing when you're looking at uh, uh, advertising and communicating i'm communicating with a jingle I'm communicating with something but i also have to look at the visual the creative we have a right side and a left side so i utilize the concept mass so we're going to be this is what this whole uh, 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 a lecture or chapter is going to be on. So make sure you read the material first. Take my concept maps, and I'm only going to show you one. Remember, you can fast forward me, you can slow me down, you can turn me off if you want. I try to t talk at a, uh average speed, but I'm a very hyper type of individual. Cause there's a lot of information I want to combine. Your mind's recording all this, remember? So if you're looking at this, I'm not dragging it on. It's not like the first time you've heard it. You have to read it, use the material. Read the book, uh, uh, you, you know the uh, the literature that's been provided for you, um, either an ebook or a hard copy, or and then utilize the concept maps and write as you're reading it. Use this, you know, read this, print out my concept maps first, and put your own information in. Then listen to the lecture. Oh yeah, I already talked about this. Oh wait a minute, I didn't pick this up in the concept map. Stop it and go for it. I'm trying to remember. We're building up into our advertising plans that you're going to be doing at the end. Uh, that's going to be you're going to be submitting. You're going to be submitting a narrative uh, PowerPoint or a short YouTube a link that you're going to submit. You're in advertising. And now if I'm going to advertise and you're going to go in for that field, you're going to be an advertising agency. You'd want to show them something. Here's what I look like. I know that you, know, you may send them, this, this is my resume, and here's a little video clip I did for uh, uh, Dr. Machaki's course. Uh, and uh, here's my advertising plan. Okay, so let's talk about the importance of design. So remember, our mind is looking at visual. I may not be the best artist, but I could, I could appreciate art. Certain things catches my uh, attention. Okay, so I'm going to go on here and open this up. Remember, follow along with your concept maps. I will have this, and I always supply them to you in a PDF file, and <clears throat> usually two pages. Open up, you can tape them together, large enough so you could write, and you can put uh, the other stuff because you're reading it, and I want you to you know, also to be active when in there. Remember part of the advertising, how do I get you to be active? This online class that you're taking, this video you're listening to me now is to get you active. I'm doing something else other than you just reading. You can see Dr. George, you can see my expression. This is important. What is shown is just as important as what is said. You need the two to connect. Once I connect, the better I make those connections. Not only I got a good jingle, but I could connect my product to my advertising, to my campaign. Remember, part of the, the forms or the lectures that we've been talking about is what type of uh, uh, ad are you doing? Is it an informative ad? Is it a uh, persuasive ad? Tell me, you have to start doing this. You got to give me the objectives because this is what the artist or the creative side of the individual has to know. What do you want? Do you want emotion? Do you want just blah information? Tell me. I got to give something to work with. They're the creative side. I got the idea. They're helping me out to give me the visual aspect. And you may be, if you're a business owner or a manager or uh, someone that's looking at for promotion or some kind of advertising for your uh, process or even for your department meeting or for your wedding, let's throw that in there so you could utilize uh, what you're learning in the chapters in the reading of forms. I may have to do all of them. 
or I could contract some of it out. All right, position the product, uh, what, you know, the, the color, the uh, the type of an ad. Is it a chinzy ad? Is it a higher class ad? Creates brand personalities. Remember the ads also create. McDonald has a brand. You see Ronald when I think of McDonald. See Ronald, Ronald the hamburger. I don't have to see his face. I can just see the image of him. Target. I can see the the bullseye. You know, sets the mood. Gives me in a good mood. Uh, 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 flavors uh, the message uh, and, and, and that's a copy when you go copy what I'm doing here is like something that you're doing now when you're doing my um, advertising plan it's your rough first draft you're gonna come up with some assumption you're gonna make something up but you're gonna go forward okay so now art of creating uh, ad you know and I'm gonna use this remember when I'm using this here I also had this in a PowerPoint if you're reading it the same information but I want you to see on the PowerPoint I would take this and I would confine it the art of creating printing ad uh, how the art director and graphic artist choose the structure and artistic elements of the ad what does it have to do you have to look at the layout uh, how to add form and elements are uh, arranged. No different when you're presenting yourself. How do you, I look? Does this tie go with the, this shirt? Now look at it as something now, but you have to start thinking, how do I think it is? How does the general audience that I'm targeting and the ad is going to be viewed, how do they see that? Okay, and then develop nonverbal symbolic components. Service as a blueprint. I see the, remember, I see like the Target, I see the Ronald McDonald. It's a happy ad, it's an ad for food. You know, visual headlines, you know, uh, body crops, slogans, seal logo, signatures. You know, uh, a lot of stores got their own signature brand. Do you have your signature for your product? Is there something that should be on there so I can always see the ad and I can relate it? Good ad, relate to the signature. Target has an ad, always relate it. I don't have to look at it. Well, whose coupons are these? I can see that bullseye, boom, I already know it. So, you, But it's in my mind. So if I see something there, it may say, oh, wait a minute. Do I need anything at Target? Do I need anything at Walmart? Walmart doesn't have that. You know, Walmart's got the smiley faces. They're so generic. Is a smiley face on a button or that. They have to get something. You know, this is my own opinion. Those of you are working for Walmart, you could say, hey, Dr. George says Walmart. You got to do some kind of a symbol. You don't really have anything there. I couldn't picture a symbol like I would with uh, Target. You need their brand. That probably is with the flowers or something. But it hasn't stuck in my mind. I can't uh, connect it. All right? So we finished that, so we have that. Okay, so remember you have everything else in there, like the PowerPoint. Now, what are the learning objectives for here? I just kind of showed us so you know what you're going to go through. Remember, you can fast forward. Describe the key principles involved in designing and printing ads. Explain how to create a great copy in a print. So you got to make a copy first. So now, remember, how I, it's the same thing you do the PowerPoint. You do the PowerPoint, and a lot of students who've taken me to face-to-face -face class, and they've created a PowerPoint. they got all these jingles. They're all impressed, and they come to the, uh, the smart uh, classroom or smart podium depending on what university or college I'm teaching at and they'll go in there and all the whistles don't work I said yeah because a lot of times you could go to the uh, to your uh, unless you're controlling that podium and you know what the uh, software is they may not have all the software they may have the older version they may so you're losing it or the color you it looks great on here but when you put it on the screen it goes through that projector because they got a newer one they got a high definition it may come up with a with a pukey color for lack of a better word so how do i do that so you have to have a like a neutral color after a while you have a good flavor which colors work where i'm going if you're controlling the whole thing and it's in your office and you're controlling it no problem but remember i'm doing a media i'm i i, I, I may not control the distribution i may send it to different publishers how is he or she and their equipment going to see that color is going to be reflected the color i see it here on the computer that's everything else when you're doing when they talk about copy you're doing like a rough draft and that's what you're doing on your uh, uh, advertising action plan you're working for me. Art and design production. What do we have? Now, I have this whole thing is all, everything else is written here. Remember, you could go on here and information, rough. I'll just open them up for everyone. Clicking on real quickly. So I'm going to use another one, dummy. You know, presents a look. So mechanical came already. Your approval. Someone's got to approve it. You know, here's a process chart for approval goes from the top down you've got the idea at each level depending on what I'm controlling within the advertising campaign I put it together and I uh, and, and I go forward with it so if I remember you at each level it has to be approved because what I may think it's a, a great creative idea but it may not be within my budgetary confinement or con uh, uh, 
uh, that I have to live with, or it may be too risque for my customers or my client I'm presenting to, or it may not uh, I'll work with the brand image or the personality of the brand image that I'm trying to present. So all these have to be accounted. Do you see me? So everything goes back to legal. Am I going to upset somebody? Am I is a copyright? So everyone is checking, and you know, and the client has his or her own that's uh, looking. So it goes through this process. You see the arrows goes back and forth. So that's the whole process, you know. Now the other one, now the exhibit I'm going to go that everything else you had in here you could pick up what I'm trying to show you to do is so here's what would be a PowerPoint so I go to temperance uh, uh, temperance small rapidly produce uh, drawing for visualization uh, uh, just so I can visualize it you know before you do it you know, you're buying a house or you're having an architect uh, draw up he's gonna do a rough sketch he doesn't have all the wood doesn't have all the dimensions all the electrical wire he's giving me a rough sketch you want a house like this no oh, I want a little taller I want it longer I want it bigger so you're trying to figure this out so that's what a tone print does so when I, I, I have all this so here's my concept man if you read along within the uh, literature you take this and you see how I've got it come out there the rough layout I've come in and I'm trying to show the individuals how do I do it and now when I'm looking instead of looking at a PowerPoint I could see this whole thing when I bring it into my one or two sheets I could see how the pieces fit into my conceptual map or mind map this works well because now I could do the presentations I can jump back and forth when I'm studying I see the whole picture this is everything else in chapter 11 or lesson 11 is working at so uh so just in a real nutshell, those who are following along or uh, picking up on me, so uh, you understand. So now that's art and production. So they look at top to they look at the comprehensive. What's you know, fast mill, first hands, mechanical. Eventually, I have to get. Let me move this over. My face isn't there. Text, visuals, and exact positions ready for the camera. And dummy is just a prototype, for lack of better words. Uh, I got two mechanicals. Same thing. Let me get rid of this one. Uh, next. Uh, I'm live here, so I could uh, clean this up. Uh, never mind, it's not working. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll worry about it later. Okay, we want you to approve it now. Some software, those of you who are going to be in, in advertising, and this is going to be your um, uh, uh, career objective. I love art. I'm an artist. I uh, either I'm doing graphic arts uh, on computers. That's the way it's going now. Uh, but I still do, do freelance art. I'm a tattooist. I'm not trying to go to that extremes. But uh, I, I enjoy art. I want to do something different, and I want to be the. Uh, I'm an advertising because I still like to uh, eat well. I enjoy the people. I like the creativity, and I like that exposure. I like that uh, the, the, the whole environment. Advertising is a whole different environment. My, my marketing. You have to be a people's person. You have to be an outgoing person. You have to be able to talk. So don't get too uh, upset when I'm saying, "Hey, we record something." So some of the soft. Offer. I would take page layout and one is uh, in design is a nice one uh, painting a Corel or a, 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 a Adobe uh, Illustrator I utilize both it makes work it ties in nice with PowerPoint but you should do that uh, you don't have to be an expert on that but if you can go into the agency do you want to say hey what software you know these are the basic software they're already utilizing so you say I'm not good at it but I've taken some classes at a college or a university or even at some uh, uh, library or local uh, uh, you, you know they'll have a, a, a or a high school has self development classes. It, it still works out well because that's a that's a skill set. Do you have the degree? Uh, hey, I know how to use it. You know you have a lot of programs. Never been to a college, but they can program better than anyone coming out of college or uh, from different workshops. You know, image uh, Adobe Photoshop again. Uh, these two tied in together, so you have these two. You could once you uh, learn one system to move, it's easier to understand it. And uh, the other systems uh, will use this one as a baseline or as a template okay the same thing if you're taking me for course management and i'm utilizing back blackboard or using a proprietary course management class um, yeah uh, you still know uh, here's a forum here's a discussion here's how i attach stuff here's how i review it and then web design again adobe uh, dreamer uh, it's kind of a little complicated i've done one class but uh, you have to be in the field but uh, just to understand this when there's a uh, you're in that agency, you know how to communicate to the person who is that uh, the web designer and then uh, uh, Micromedia uh, Flash. You know, there's probably some uh, other software is just as good. I'm not trying to do one or the other, but these are just the basic ones, okay? Okay, so what I'm looking at the uh, exhibit on this one, the balance. So what I'm doing in design 
Look if I'm artistic, and I'm not an artist. Well, yeah, I appreciate art, so it has to be balanced. I'm not doing too much of a negative, not too much of a positive, or maybe more positive than negative. You know, so if I have to, by law, say I gotta say this is to some risk associated with this, I may make that really small or not emphasize it as much. You know, it has to be proportional. Look at here's this thing. It's kind of freaky. If I'm selling uh, a mask or I'm selling a movie, fine. That would scare the heck out of me. If I'm just a clown outfit, that doesn't look very friendly, you know, unless I'm Halloween or something else, you know. And the sequence, the unity and the emphasis. What am I emphasizing, okay? So it has to, and then when I look at the strong design, remember, I have this. So if I add this one, I'm just basically... Uh, uh, explains a strong design, commands attention. I want to get the attention. Remember, you are competing for that person to look at your ad versus 20 other ads or other stimuli that's out there. Sometimes if I give t-shirts to a good-looking gentleman who's got muscles and got my name on there, it may get the attention of some of the ladies that go, mm, I wish my husband looked like that, my boyfriend. Or if I give t-shirts to ladies. Now one thing, ladies, when I give t-shirts to ladies and I want the message to be read, be careful where you put it. Because sometimes I like the message, if I'm looking at that, it may be inappropriate for me to stare at a certain body area because the message is there. Unless that's what my intent was for the ad, to put it there, to look at it. But if I want people to look at it casually, everything else I put in the back where people could see it. <coughs> and after a while, you know, if you're going to do the ad, if you get it cheap, no one's going to wear it. If you have a nice t-shirt, warm, functional, people will wear it. If they're wearing it, you've got to walk in advertising. You can't go into the areas these individuals are going into. You can't go into the, where they're at. You can't see their social. They see that shirt. Hey, where did you get that? I got that here. Or I got whatever. If you're selling the t-shirt, put your logo in here. So, yeah. I think here it is. I think I sold this t-shirt. I got this print from, oh yeah, here it is. George's Print Shop. Okay? Remember, advertising. You have to make sure you balance it. But not what you think. What you think the general audience. It's a provocative. They want something different. That's what you have to look from advertising. Um, I put that, I get to emotional on here. Let me move along here. We'll be here for five hours. Okay, the layouts, oh, okay, uh, and these ones I'm not going to go, you know, you can look at them real quickly, Here, you know, I mean, the, the, the picture window, the grid, you know, there's a grid, you know, I don't have to go into that, you know, look at it, uh, uh, the publication, you know, the circus, it's all over, okay, brings it alive, you know, and, and these are in black and white, <coughs> and that may work it on the thing, you know, different exhibits. Too much writing, unless you want to be real information. You know, remember, a heavy copy because uh, you're doing it for uh, for like uh, doctors, or you're doing it for a person to, that's uh, looking to make sure what effects they have, and you want to be very detailed. So you have to look at your audience montage that has a little bit of everything else to get your <coughs> you know, uh, pieces in there to get to. My, remember, the whole thing is to get my attention, and it's real. And you could use a combination, very uh, you know, uh, use variety of that. Very well written. This is remember. This is part of the layout. I'm not telling you one way is the other. I'm not telling. These are just the, the, the basic ones you can look at that they already have template. But now I want to mix. It. I want it round. I want it larger. I want it smaller. I want it like this way. Do I want it? Is it going to be annoying? Is it going to be like this? If I keep on going like this, I'm going to get a he headache. Where all that has to depend on what you're trying to convey. How are you going to get their attention? That is the visual portion. It's got to be provocative, but not distasteful I'm trying to be more of a conservative type okay use of visual print you know illustrators what do they do they're artists you know photographers I don't have to go with this okay so if I'm looking at the purpose of visual print and I just want to get a look at when I'm looking at the purpose because this is what your whole advertising you're an ad you're going to come up with a campaign <coughs> look if I'm not an artist and I could do a lot by hand click cut and paste or say this is just a simulation so I have a general idea. Then I give it to the person who is the artist. I gotta say, I want two people holding hands. So I got two stick people. Oh my God, the several stick people. But they work. The artist could visualize it because by what I want to convey, here's the emotion. And he or she will be able to direct, uh, uh, the designer will be able to uh, uh, create that for me. And then I give it to the web designer to put it in there. 
clarified the claim by copy, identified the subject of the ad, showed a project actually being presented, do focus groups, qualify readers by stop, uh, stopping legitimate prospects, help convince the reader of the truth of the uh, claim, arouse the interest. That's what you're doing. With the word, the visual, the sound, everything. Look how you get, look when you're watching a movie, you know when the good, uh, when the scary part comes because the music comes up, you know, emphasize the, the product, unique features, create favorable impression, and provide continually, continu uh, continuity uh, for the campaign by using a unified visual technique. Don't change it too much because it'll be distracting. You want to make those connections in here. So when I'm trying to recall the product, the slogan, everything falls in. If it's too much all over, it's the mind could do it, but it's a chore. If it's a chore to mind, remember, I used to work for combat. Mine is the pack of least resistance. That's electricity. So if you stand in the water, you could be insulated. It's going to find that one little hole because that's the least resistant. Everything else is resistant. Boom, you have it. So try to find that uh, you use the, utilize a pack of least resistance so I'm showing my ad and getting their attention without them strenuously trying to understand it or different pictures that's upsetting. For certain uh, audiences, a lot of flashing, a lot of activity is is worth it. For uh, let's say baby boomers, my generation, I like more of a calmer. Not all, you know. I'm not uh, a stereotype. I'm generalizing. Okay. Term and focus. Okay. Now, if I'm looking, here's the visual aid. I use this one. If I'm looking at, uh, you know, so I'm going back and forth, right? Uh, I'm going from a concept maps to written. You know, I'm just doing this in my lecture. So uh, look at the package, the product in use. You know. Uh, Product alone, you know, uh, product features always in the package. You know, uh, this is like our competitor. Or if I buy good, here's what I get for best. Here's what I get for super quality. And I say, well, I don't need. I never use all that. So why use it? Remember, you have to understand what that certain segment. Some only want the basic product. Others want more. They'll fine tune the uh, whistles uh, uh, to add to it. Okay. And what's the benefits? What's the testimonial? Where do I put that in there? How do I put that in there? You know, what's the negative appeal? What's the humor? Do I put a humor in it? Or is it a serious matter? A comparison of products. All that is a, a, a part of the advertising. So you have that, okay? Make this a little longer here. Okay, we got that. Okay, selecting the right visual. And here's the, uh, I'll go to PowerPoint. Is a visual needed for communication? You could have a, a radio station with no visual, but the way they set it up, it's nice to have the visual to put you in the mood. When you see something where they have, I went to Wisconsin Water Park, I hear a lot of that, and all of a sudden a guy hears water, the holes, you know, shh, ah, I, I seen enough of them in the visuals, when I see the, and the same music is played on the radio, I make the connection automatically. Do I need a visual? Yes. Someplace in the communication chain, you had to visual. That's what the uh, uh, advertising. Some of the visuals could be in the, on the web, a different way of showing the same visual. But it has to be a continuous, integrated message communicated to your audience so they see the same symbols, the same music, so they make the connection. Like watering, it keeps on reinforcing, reinforcing. So I see like the target. I see whatever I'm going to see, and I could connect right away. I see the Microsoft symbol. I see the uh, uh, the symbol. You know, this is a symbol for uh, if I'm looking on here for uh, my mind map. Here's the symbol for Camtasia relay that I'm utilizing to record this uh, 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 live and then put it into YouTube or uh, uh, into another course management uh, system that I teach at. Okay, so you have the symbol. It makes it easy. So. Fakers will make the symbols look like a like a chrome, but it isn't. Okay, so I have all that information, and I just pulled it up from there. Close that off. The slogans and themes, you know, provides a, uh, uh, provides a continuity. Uh, you know, it continues to a series of ads. Always got the same slogan. Back to why you wanted to change the slogan. Reduces an advertising message because I pick up the slogan. It's quality, good taste, whatever. A strategy in a brief and repeatable, memorable position to say samples. And here's something: breakfast for champions. You reach out and touch someone. Okay, I, I think it was AT and T. Could be wrong. It's been a while since it's been an older one. Diamonds are forever. I, I want to say uh, Jared, but uh, I could be wrong because that's the last thing I saw with a with a, with a commercial with a diamonds. And ladies, diamonds are forever. But what size of diamonds, right? 
And that's how I, yeah, I, I'm always going because uh, sometimes uh, in advertising, a uh, lady's got a small diamond. And they'll say, come in here, we'll clean your diamond for free. So they say, oh, it's a nice diamond to clean. Yeah, we got married. How's he gonna be married? Oh, I've been married for 20 years. How's your husband? Oh, man, he said, well, to me, you know, it's about time you get a big rock now, a bigger diamond. But diamonds are forever. Oh, yeah, we could take this and put it in the stone here. What did they do? They advertised you got in here, got it clean, polished it all up, make it look as new, and now took that little thing and upgraded you. <coughs> but I had to get you in there. So the whole slogan is, or, or, or trading your old diamond for a new diamond, or bringing your diamond and will incorporate it to a larger as your love has blossomed up. Look, I'm advertising. I'm coming up with a slogan. And now you can visualize what's going on. You can visualize the diamond. You can visualize the love. And you can see a person in different stages going through there. So now, let's go into here, PowerPoint. You know, Coca-Cola, remember? So now I got Gams, Diamonds, or Jared. So I can visualize everything about the Diamonds, you know, a, a good one. And, and it works for a lot. Jared, real easy, simple name. Common name. It's just a person's name. But it's... it's and then you look at most Jareds are easygoing individuals. I'm not saying they are. You know, what does the word Jared mean? Look that up. And that could be all part of the name, of, or it could be just the owner's name. You know, it's a seal awarded, you know, logos, you know, good housekeeping seal. Means uh, uh, underwriter's laboratory, means it's a safe equipment. Coca-Cola has its whole seal. Coca-Cola also got a patent, I think it's for the bottle. A very unique shape, just for a Coke. I see that bottle. I don't have to have any kind of uh, uh, symbols. I could feel the bottle. That's a Coca-Cola bottle. Pepsi, okay, and logos. I think it's another one. It's just an avatar, okay. So you have that now. Writing a a, a, a a radio copy, you have to test it out. You don't spend all the money it goes out and it's going down the tube, and then that's how what people remember. Because in the radio, just like in uh, in the social media, it goes out to an audience that may not even know that uh, that touched it. So radio touches anyone. Who flips the station at the time or is listening it or doesn't flip the station so if i'm looking at writing a copy and here's what they do here's the speaker's names uh, you know sound effects here's the dialogue what i want here's how much it's going to cost you uh time guideline for 10 seconds i should have 20 25 words that's it don't put too much even though know, your mind is recording it you're not really uh, putting it in it looks like you're trying to uh, ram something down down my throat. It's a, a poor ad. It worked out for a while when they said all this benefit because it was cute so people kind of remember the ad. After a while, they just turned it off. It was just too quick for her. Yo, for 20 seconds, 40, 45 minutes, not the full 50, as you'll be going up 30, 60, 70. Yo, the less words, the better. Because remember, you have to bring it back from your planting in the short term memory, pulling back. The less words, the better. If you're doing a search, I mean, you'll be very specific, but if you have too many words, you're going to turn it off. It's like, oh, shoot, I think I'm listening to my husband. I think I'm listening to my wife. Oh, my kid. Oh, yeah. yes, I'm listening. In one ear, out the other ear. That's what you don't want. So the fewer words to get their attention, is that's what I'm trying to do with a radio copy. Okay? So you got to test it out, and you test it to the audience. What did you remember? No one ever heard it before. I don't remember nothing. So how much is the retention? 2%, 5%? I remember 20%, but in the day I might forget it. So now I know when I do the repeat advertising, I don't want to do the same jingle because people can turn me off. I just do a shorter version to replenish the water. Once I got the pot, I'm growing a plant. I'm an organic organization. I teach, remember, I'm a double uh, major, marketing and management with HR and finance uh, uh, elective. So if I'm looking at this way, if I've got a pot, of soil and I water it, some plants I gotta have real dry, you know, like cactus. But a lot of times I'll water it, I don't have to put as much water next time, it's just dry up on top just a little, otherwise I'll drown it. I'm just maintaining that amount of water, okay? Now writing a television script, so if I'm looking at this, I have to write a script, you know, same as format, only now I got a picture, I got a video, I got a face going in there. Who's gonna be the expression? You had a lot of people in the old Thing, a little histor uh, history. They were good on radio, but when they came on camera, they looked terrible. They were ugly. They, did, they had a good voice, but not ugly. They weren't attractive, or they weren't the masculine. They weren't the image that people thought they were. Their voice was masculine. But I'm a little guy, just got a deep voice, right? Little frog. You know, big woman. It was a big frog out here. What the heck? Little bullfrog. Okay? <coughs> Describes the visual, production, list of spoken, copy, sound, and music. You have to combine the. Uh, uh, Put all this together as an art director, uh, uh, 
uh, musician, uh, uh, stage writer, everybody, uh, uh, even a producer, all has to put this together and be able to show everything else. Was tr <laughs> a, a second ad may take me a month to make. You know, some of the ads I could tell when it took me two days. Okay, and then you got the script, you know, same as format, and then you have everything else you have here. Okay, so real easy. Just like uh, writing, uh, just look at writing television, writing this, you got the script. So look at it this way. I start off with a bit of radio X, I can't afford it, or this is what I want to reach the audience real quickly, just to let them know, hey, there's a new uh, program coming in, so I hear the jingle. Now I see on TV is connecting. I heard the jingle, I see the picture. Or do I see the picture, hear the jingle? Indirectly, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just watering one way or the other. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? Depends how I present it, depends on my audience, what works well. Okay, now ad format, we're looking at here, you've got, uh, I'll use a PowerPoint on here, different formats, comedy, your very favorite, animation, dramatization, uh, uh, symbolic, uh, uh, contemporary, okay, documentary, uh, straight uh, demo, demonstration, customer testimonial, uh, very serious. So it depends where you're looking at. You see, I mean, where do you want, what's your audience, what's your message, what are you trying to convey, Okay. And you have to look at the uh, you know different lifestyle animation. Okay, so we turn that off, and then writing to the web. I'll go with the PowerPoint. So I have audience right uh, writing for the web. One million heavy internet users share opinions with many uh, others. Verify claim. I do on the web on LinkedIn. I get tired after a while. I put something in. And I do controversial. I pull off. I don't say nothing else. They say, oh, I'm George. I don't want to talk back to me. And they drop me off out of the social media. I just do that just for the fun of it. Okay, ads for international. When I'm looking at international ads, make sure they're expensive to create because you got to convert. If I'm doing, uh, look, if I do an American ad, and uh, I can kind of convert it into a British ad, uh, same language, maybe certain things. I got to be careful because there, if I, you know, somebody says, hey, where's the crack at? Just saying, where's a good time? I say, if somebody comes here, say, where's the crack? Oh my God, I got a cocaine uh, user. I got uh, drug users. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? Right, so I got to look at what do the words mean. Remember, the English language, as the author's talk, is a very uh, uh, flexible, transparent, growing language. W what meant uh, last time, I said tool, but real good. I had one of my marketing classes for sports marketing, and the individual there, I said, hey, you're, you, you look like a real good sports jock. That's insulting to me. I'm not a sports jock. I mentioned that before. I am an athlete. Oh, my goodness. I always say sports jock. I wish I was a sports jock. I was a little wimpy, little nerdy little kid. You, you know what I mean? Not, 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 not nerdy. A little chunky little kid when I was growing up. I wasn't a sports jock. I was shy. Uh, so, but uh, I want to be a sports jock. I want to be a sports jock. So people look up at me. Wait up. But now it's derogatory. I'm an athlete. I'm a, a professional athlete. Okay, I just throw that up because I learn. I learn from my students, I learn from my audience. That's how I come out. That's how we learn in advertising. So, but you know, how do I translate? How do I do? Uh, the English language changes. What are the other cultures? What's acceptable here may not be acceptable. But how much of the program or the ad I could convey and go over? Coca Cola does a nice thing when you do it national. They sing different languages and they have the same song. I feel better after a Coke. I start having more energy. I feel like I want to sing. Okay, so we turn that off. Okay, now here's some websites. Remember, before I go to websites, when you look at the book, uh, 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 the chapter 8, is uh, supposed to be chapter 11, my mistake. Okay, uh, certain campaign ad, you have New Phillips ads, you have George Felton about how to write great ad, uh, headlines. You have just little ads there. Just look at them as a template. I had to see what somebody done. And said, I remember that. That was good for me. Will it be acceptable? Sometimes it's okay. You can bring stuff from the past to the future and just combine the two. Here's how it was and here's how it changed. Remember, you're trying to get the attention of what audience. If I'm doing baby boomers, bring back their younger life. I'm doing, you know, don't bring back old, older. Here's a cemetery. You know what I mean? You're alive. You're young. You're ready to go on there. You know, you're doing a certain thing. People want to live in nursing homes. Other individuals want to be party. So you give them a different kind of a, a, a senior or a, a adult living a, a, a community. A little different, okay? So you have that, that, that different uh, or, uh, aspect. I'm a younger person. Singles, you know what I mean? You got swimming pools, you got parties. You know, they meet other individuals. Whatever it is, you have to be able to look at their template and see how they did it. You know, so look at them first. It gives you a lot of things about different ads. gives you some good links. 
uh, good uh, information. Now, the other ones, I have main topics. Okay, now here's one. Here's copy bloggers, art direction. Let's look at this one. I'll click on this link. I think I got them connected. Oh, it actually does work. Uh, I was having a little trouble with my Comcast, uh, those who had it. So what is art direction? You know, it talks a little bit how this is applied to the web. Gives you some ideas. Remember, this will help you out so using symbols. Here's some examples, okay? Here's different symbols. Okay, so nice. Okay, we got that. All right, what's this next one? I close this one. Uh, how about this? Uh, I always like this. Uh, Add a goodness. Different ads. Now look at this one. No common posters. Uh, okay, I just like to look at some of the ads. I'll make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, just, you know, I realize this is at the end. So, it's an advertising class. Look at this one. No comment. Real uh, quiet ad. How about this one? Uh, uh, Africa Kicker. They change the name around there. So, they're looking. No comment. Now, they're talking about something with the soccer match between Africa and South Africa. But, or is it something else? But it got my attention. I know they're talking about Africa Kicker. And I know they're talking, is it football or soccer in the u.s we call it soccer outside is football because they're using your foot cooking it in the u.s it's soccer i have an anna goodson management original illustrators hire here got my attention glass set up for eyes what is this you'll get some ad uh get your ad here for 30 days how this one it's the same ad similar ad using the same kind of a template only they did it i don't know if it's in spanish with uh, uh, uh or, 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 or french right you have the ad now the different languages Look at this one. No, no comment. Old Spice. Look at this. Old Spice. Got my uh, favorite uh, 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 sports uh, individual in there. And he's got all my pictures. Look what he's doing. Danger joints. It's it just some nice ways to look at different ads. Let's look at the... Let's go on. Always look at the ads. You know, the best... That looks how this, the, the ads come in on the web. The good ones come in, hopefully, right? Now, I always go at the end. Same thing when I uh, do a search. Or do I go at the end? Let's go on here number six. Let's see number six ads. Kind of a little freaky. Who am I going to? What about this one? Does not look very good. Oh, geez. Like external domain. Not too good. Uh, uh, boss. Uh, uh, camera. Robin Hood. All right. Uh, hand drawn. Now, these are more of my mini minivan. Okay. Where did the minivan come in? You see where the ads came in there from provocative to non-provocative? So, if I'm going on this, I'm going all the way here. Let me go on here in nine. Hopefully, I don't get more of the raunchy one. Look, Old Spice. Look at Old Spice. Did he eat the ad? Look at this one. Uh, Fiber Axe. He, he chose back in here. Went from that. So, he's doing other things. Furniture, don't litter. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. Right, come on. It does look cute. Give me a break. It does look cute. Okay. So, now, let me just close this off. All right. I'm out of there. Close this off. I'm out. Okay, good. So, what do we do? I'm closing this off. Uh, carousel spots. What did I put in here? Uh, uh, something I didn't do on here. The designer has. Let's go back in here. So that's what we did. We did today. We did advertising, chapter 11. Creative execution of art and copy. So you, I do the ads. I take the creative. I've got the slogan. How do I put the face to it? How do I put the emotion to it? How do I tie my uh, art designer, my creativity, my illustrator, my web designer? How do I bring this all together? My copywriters. How do I test it? How do I bring it down? This is advertising. Welcome to advertising. There's some good ads in here. Look at the links. Look at the ads. Enjoy it. I'll see you in the next forum. This is Chapter 11. My name is Dr. George Machaki, and we're in advertising series, Creative uh, Execution of Art and Copy by Dr. George Machaki. Have a nice day. Bye.